What's good, YouTube? Car if I can't hear Aqua Life, baby, you already know. And first off, thank you guys for the support on the Savas deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I asked you guys what deck you wanted to see next. The most votes came in from my Blue Wave deck, so uh, here it is. Now, you guys know me and Tetra Drive have a long and prosperous history together, and I'm very excited that Bushiroad has decided to turn his Blue Wave name into an actual sub clan. And uh, with the Commander Incessant Waves Aqua Force Clan booster, continue to support his style of play with the new Blue Wave card. So I'm very very excited about that now i'm still learning with this deck guys um i've been playing savas all format so i'm trying to get into the mode and learn how to play this deck uh at a at a high level so i'm still learning with this deck i'm still trying to piece together how i want my build to look um and so you know i'm, I'm still working with this deck but i'm showing you guys what i have now and like i said um everything in this deck is definitely subject to change because you know nothing generally stays the same for me now this deck does have a, a, a mini tournament experience um, under his belt and some good amount of playtesting and uh, I can definitely say that this deck guys has a lot of explosiveness. It's a very explosive deck uh, that has a very good advantage engine, um, good recycling, being able to recycle your grade 3s for multiple usages, which we will talk about in a few, as well as a good grade 2 game. Um, te being Tetra Drive and Foivos and Tyler Salt make this deck very capable of playing the grade 2 game essentially with your opponent. If your opponent wants to sit at grade 2, well, we have a limit break card. We have two cards that are not restricted by generation break that can restand. Um, so this deck definitely has a good matchup against ripples per our uh per my experience playing against and with it um but yeah let's get into the deck profile guys all right guys so my starter is blue wave dragon dagger master draco kid now i know some people do run andre but i'm definitely trying him out. i like the way that he fits in with the whole blue wave play style so what he does guys is act ability generation break one you counter blast one you throw him into the soul you give your vanguard the ability that on wave two or more so second battle or more uh when your vanguard attacks another vanguard you get to draw a card and then on the fifth battle of the turn wave five or more you're you get to uh, gain an extra critical so your vanguard gains an extra critical plus it gets to draw again so you know he's pretty much used in conjunction with tetra boil his best usage is on tetra boil um for the you know to get yourself a nice plus one and an extra critical uh he is a little bit of a sitting duck because you do want to save it for tetra boil who is gb2 um but sometimes if you're pushed into a corner and you're, you're on your stride you need to build up some sort of advantage or you're on anger boil and you're at gb2 but you need to build up some advantage and you can't really stride right now uh go ahead and throw him into the soul and get your and at least get your plus one so that um you know you can build up some resources but he's definitely a pretty a pretty nice card to have i just don't like the fact that he's a bit of a sitting duck until we get to tetra Ball where his best usage is but again um in type in certain situations you might have to use him a little bit earlier than you plan to uh four heal triggers gotta have four um i'm running four draw triggers four malika um you know, good draw trigger. This deck, you know, definitely has a pretty decent draw engine and keeps your hand quite healthy. So, uh, four draws is definitely a good enough number. Now, I am running four copies of Super Sonic Sale. This deck is a little bit more counter blast heavy than the other Aqua Force decks. And so, um, in order to continue your combos, um, you definitely want to be able to unflip and have access to something that unflips to continue your combos. Like sometimes, uh, you know, you have Tetra Drive and Foivos or Tetra Drive and Magma Salt. Well, that's three counter blasts for you to get, you know, a full value turn out of your rear guard. And Vanguard, well, you know, you could throw him into the soul to, you know, create that or help alleviate it in some fashion. And then we have four copies of probably my favorite crit trigger, Blue Wave uh, Soldier, Brutal Trooper. He's a new Blue Wave crit trigger. Very, very good guy. So it's simple. He's an act ability. You know, on the rear guard circuit, you just put him on top of your deck and... <clears throat> You give your Vanguard the ability that on wave second time or more, uh, you get to, when attacking an opponent's Vanguard, you get to draw a card. Now, this is very good, again, in conjunction with Tetra Boil uh, or... Um Tetra Boil or Tetra Drive because, you know, when they restand and do their attack, he becomes a plus one. So he sends himself into the deck to, you know, and then when you get to draw, he replaces himself uh, on your on your second on your second battle with your Vanguard. But when you do restand, you get that plus one. Now, he's also a very good card because, uh, you know, and he's one of the reasons why I like to have Foivos as my grade two ride target in certain cases uh, is because sometimes when I need to get a different looking hand or, uh, you know, 
know, I might have too many triggers in hand or, you know, you know, just want to build up advantage at some point. Um, you know, definitely making usage of him is very, very good. You know, you can use him when you have a blue wave vanguard only. So only on the blue wave vanguard, but still a very good card to help you out in the long run. All right. On to grade one. All right, guys. So for grade one, um, four copies of the perfect guard of G perfect guard Plato. Uh, Plato is too important in this deck, guys. The deck, again, like I said, uh, is a little bit more counter blast heavy, and having those crucial unflips can definitely help you extend your combo plays if you're still making excessive usage out of uh, Foivos and Magnumasol as well as. Um, Tetra Boil. So definitely a card you uh, want to consider running. Now you can run the old school Perfect Guards uh, like like Paschal if you want to. Um, but I prefer to use this guy, you know, to keep my resources healthy as far as counter blasting goes. Um, now I'm running three copies of the new Blue Wave Soldier Bright Shooter, but I'm also running three copies of Stride Nammer. The reason why I took the Stride Nammer down, usually you guys don't see me do this, but the reason why I took him down to add in an extra grade two is because Bright Shooter is what recycles your grade three. So after he boosts an attack, um, and it's the fourth battle of the turn or more, so wave four or more, and you have a Blue Wave Vanguard, you get to just bring a grade three from your drop zone to your hand. So this is the card I'm talking about, guys. This guy recycles your grade threes, so, you know, for you uses for stride fodder you know when it comes to tetra boy you can drop a grade three to stride then you know you attack with him on the fourth bow then you can drop the grade three you just put back into your hand to pay for tetra boil's cost of discarding one a very very good card guys a card definitely is a very solid slot at three which and um again when you're recycling and you're creating multiple stride fodders with his ability you can definitely probably cut down on a nikki even though this is more of a stride base that you definitely cut down on nikki to make usage of him and he's not restricted by generation break as well so you know if you're in that position where well i damaged a heat i damaged a grade three and i healed it i healed off the grade three and you want to and healing off your grade threes in this deck is very important because you want to get his in his little engine going and so uh you know you healed off a grade three well you know if you can create that situation create the situation where he boosts on the fourth battle add that grade three to your hand and now you have the ability to go into grade three whether it's tetra drive or anger boil you have the ability to go into grade three and start getting um other plays off and then last but not least, I'm running three copies of uh, Stacia. I'm not, I, was, I wasn't too sure about running three copies of Stacia in the deck at the moment. Um, she's a nice card. She's a very nice card to have free 9k from the back row. Helps alleviate the counter blast usage on um, Tetra Drive turns and even, and even Tetra Bullet turns. She can create different plays. Uh, I do like her a lot. I want to try out some other cards in, the, in, her, in her slot because I'm also unsure about some cards in the grade 2 lineup a bit, but um, she's definitely been helping a lot guys uh, especially when you're on tetra drive and you stride tetra boil over tetra drive you definitely need a way to hit the fourth battle and like i said her attack from the back row can create uh four battles you know two from the front row her from the back row that's four that's and then your vanguard that's four battles so she's definitely a good card to play in a very a very safe choice but again i will be experimenting with other choices and if you guys have any suggestions on what i should try out please let me know in the comment section below all right and on to grade two all right, guys, so for grade two, um, obviously the staple, four copies of Tidal Assault, very, very important in the deck. Um, again, you know, when people like to play the grade two game, sit at grade two, whatever it is, Tidal Assault is one of those cards that they hate to see, and they target is a very high target for attacks. Um, Restanding, you know, minus 5K is fine, but you stack a trigger on him, and you know you're all good, bro. But he's very good for that grade two game when you're on Tetra Drive, and, you know, you're able to get your limit break four play off for free because he enables the fourth battle i mean he's just a very very key card to this deck overall and even on tetra boils he turns he can be devastating um you know when you swing you know you swing with him at first then with anger boil skill you can restand him plus three he's at 12 now and then you know you can stack triggers i mean it's it, you know that's all hypothetical like most things are but it's still a very very key card to have in this deck guys and i, I just it's hard for me to play literally guys it's very hard for me to play a aqua force deck without incorporating Rating title assault in some way shape or fashion he is just too clutch of a card too good of a card and he makes way too many plays uh for me not to run him in um he's like my franchise quarterback so to speak in terms of uh rear guard oh i won my fancy football league today five hundred dollars baby all right um four copies of uh 
Magnum Assault. Now, I am a bit iffy on the Magnum Assault choice. Again, I want to focus on getting to that fourth battle right now, and I feel Magnum Assault is still a very safe choice you could play in the deck. I want to be trying out other options, not over him, probably cutting him down to maybe three or two copies, but... Uh, he's definitely, he's de still definitely a good card. Now, this deck's first stride turn is not the best. I will say that it's, it, 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 it there is something lacking in this deck's first stride turn for sure. But, um, again, this guy, again, he gets you to the fourth battle. That's what, that's what you want to do. You want to be able to get to the fourth battle. Um, so you can get off certain skills and he, he's not generation break he is generation break restricted uh but he's the only grade two card that doesn't help us get to the fourth battle if we're stuck playing the grade two game he's you know he'll be vanilla but he's still a very good card after you stride or on your first stride turn getting into that third fourth battle so that you're able to use like title bore and aristotle and things like that so um he's still a very solid card very safe choice i will be trying out other options uh in the deck while still including him but let me know what you guys think about that and then um four copies of foibles now i know my boy x Cream phantom doesn't like doesn't like foibles like that he likes him and then he doesn't like him um he doesn't he doesn't really synergize well with uh lambros but we're not talking about lambros here we're talking about him so what he does is on wave third time only now please 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 people please please read his skill because I've seen way too many card fights and a lot of other videos that either explain his skill incorrectly or, and also use his skill incorrectly. So, let's read it together, guys. Wave, third time only. Counter Blast 1. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, if you have a Vanguard with Blue Wave in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, this unit gains 2,000 power until the end of the turn, and at the end of that battle, stand this unit. A lot of people, you know, you know, confuse his ability people will swing 9k then counter blast and restand him with plus two he swings for 11k restands and remains at 11k you people just don't use his skill right and you miss out on sh on on important shielding and other opportunities this guy is an 11k attacker on the third battle of the turn and he remains at 11k for the remainder of the, your turn guys he is a very very good card uh he fits the blue wave play style very well being that third being that third battle that restands um and he hits 11k vanguards unboosted it's a very very powerful card guys his best usage is on the tester ball turn but if you're stuck playing the grade two game with your opponent um if you have to ride him he's still good to make usage of blue wave bright shooter and the crit trigger and then you know if you're sitting on anger boil but your opponent's playing the grade two game you need you could throw him out there, go one, two, then him, three, and four, and if you stack triggers on him, well, he's a problem now. So he's still a very good, he's a very good car, guys. I'm enjoying playing with him. Uh, I am thinking about cutting him down to three, Magnum down to three, and probably trying out another option in this slot. Uh, you know, so that that's all going to come with testing because I'm still trying to get used to it, still trying to get my build correctly, trying to get comfortable with it. So if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, as always. And on to grade three. All right, guys. So for grade three, we have uh, four copies of our, you know, our old school avatar baby, my 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 old friend, uh, Blue Wave Dragon, Tetra Drive Dragon. Got my SP copy right here. Uh, so what he does, guys, you guys should know his ability. But what he does is, uh, at limit break four, at the end of the battle that this unit attacked, it was the second battle of that turn. Uh, he gets the ability that when your rear guard attacks an opponent's vanguard now let me repeat when your rear guard attacks an opponent's vanguard on the fourth battle of the turn you may pay his cost of counter blasting two discarding two and then restanding him so he must be the second battle of the turn then your rear guard must attack the vanguard on the fourth battle of the turn if you do if you attack with him at any other point in the turn or your rear guard does not attack an opponent's vanguard on the fourth battle of the turn you miss the timing for his skill you, you and then you will not be able to pay the cost and you will not be able to restand. Please, guys, remember that. He is the second battle. Your rear guard must be the fourth battle and it must go to an opponent's vanguard. And then you restand him by paying two counter blasts and two cards discarded. 
uh, and then his other ability is Act, Counter Blast 1. He gains 3k for the end of turn. Uh, again, guys, this guy is very good in the Grade 2 game. Um, when you're like, uh, I can tell you from tournament experience, um, when I was playing against it, uh, my you know my boy Black Sea, if he was playing with my deck, he rode the Tetra Drive, he had the Foivos, he had a way to get to um, the fourth battles and whatnot. Yes, it does cost 3 Counter Blasts, but that turn was very, very devastating because, as you guys know, with Blue Waves, I mean, with uh, Ripples, you don't really keep too, too big of a hand if you're sitting there playing the grade two game uh but this deck you know two vanguard attacks plus a restanding rear guard is very devastating um and put a lot of pressure on your turn especially if triggers are checked which you have four chances for by two drive checks all right or four drive checks you know twin drive all right on to the next card is the new brother anger boil dragon blue wave dragon anger boil dragon this guy this is the copy that Bushiro messed up for me. I don't know. Uh, this guy is a very, very powerful card, guys. And I think that... And my brother might agree. Do you agree that he has probably the best GB2 ability in the game? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Ten. He's... Yeah, top 10, top 5. I think he has the best, uh, but, you know, that's just me. Kind of a little bit biased. Um, so, his GB2 ability, guys, is when this unit, uh, on the second battle only, second battle only, please, guys, second time only, second battle, when he attacks an opponent's vanguard, he gains 5k, you stand one of your rear guards, and that unit gets plus 10,000 power. So he's like uh, a mini Lambros, so to speak. A very, very good GB2 ability. Um, you guys should not have any problems sitting on him. I have no, which is why you, a, a lot of people go into Commander Thavas first, which I highly recommend, because you get to GB2. Sitting on his GB2 ability is not a bad thing. It's actually a really good thing. Um, it gives you another, it gives you another way to play the game. If striding is too expensive or you can't afford to stride, his GB2 ability Ability, um, is definitely a very powerful one that you know your opponent you know can really put your opponent in a corner uh, by giving 10,000 to a rear guard. I mean, imagine giving 10,000 to a Magnum or a Title or a Foivos that's going to attack for 19k or higher. You know, uh, Foivos will be 21k and twice. I, I mean, the possibilities with that is, is just really really good. So his GB2 ability to me is one of the strongest in the game. You guys should definitely not have a problem with sitting on him uh, and using his GB2 ability uh, for your turns. Now, his stride break ability is also very good. Uh, so, during your turn, when you stride Blue Wave Martial Dragon, Tetra Boil Dragon, so it only works if you stride Tetra Boil Dragon. Uh, you choose one of your vanguards, so you choose your vanguard, it gets 3,000 power, and then wave second time only. So, on the second battle of turn, just like regular Tetra Drive, guys, he has to be the second battle. When you're when you when this van when your vanguard attacks an opponent's vanguard, choose two of your Aqua Force rear guards, stand them, and they both get plus three thousand power. So the whole column you give you give a column plus six thousand power or a card plus three thousand power, and uh, so he creates another attack. He creates the third battle. Then you just have to find your way to get to a fourth battle. You know another rear guard, whatnot. Uh, still a very very powerful stride break ability. Some people I know run three Tetra Boils. I'm not a fan of that. I feel as if, um, you know, you, you you need to use his ability when he gets to mid-game, late-game, because Tetra Boils is still a very powerful stride that can definitely uh, end games, guys. And his uh, stride break ability definitely works with how the uh, play style is for Blue Ways. Very good. But again, guys, don't have a problem with sitting on his GB2. His GB2 ability, guys, is very, very good. It's kind of like with Nova Grapplers and uh, Victor. Victor's GB2 ability is very good. Um, and it's a car and it's a car that you just don't mind sitting on just like this guy just don't mind sitting on him All right, and stride deck All right guys uh, for my stride deck guys. I'm running one copy of title board now My stride deck is still something that's in construction. Um, I'm not sold on my stride deck yet I'm still working on it I'm going with this initial starter build and once you know one you know when I get more play testing in with other builds and whatnot I'm definitely going to change it up so for right now I'm running one title board on third battle if he hits draw a card choose up to one card from your hand a good card solid for getting those plus ones here and there uh, if you need it uh, one Aristotle, um, just to me, one of the, a very staple card in a lot of uh, Aqua Force G decks. Uh, very good card. Third battle, Counter Blast 1. When he attacks and points Vanguard, pop a unit on their field. So you pop any unit. Gives gives this deck a little bit more field control, getting rid of Annoying Starters, uh, Commander Laurel, and things of that nature. 
definitely two copies of Commander Savas next, guys. Um, he is usually your first stride in this deck. This guy is very, very good. So his ability is when you, you know, uh, act ability. So you just once per turn, you G flip, you G flip him. So persona G flip, give a rearguard plus 5k and the ability, ability to attack from the back row. At GB3, your opponent, uh, when it attack, when your unit attacks on the fourth battle of the turn, choose three of your opponent's rearguards. Your opponent chooses one and retires it. Now, uh, you generally don't use his GB3 ability unless you're going for a nice temple stride because you had because you went into Tidal Bore or Aristotle first. But uh, Commander Thobbs is definitely one of your best first stride options. Again, this deck's first stride turn is pretty lackluster. Um, and it's just it, it just feels kind of stagnant and vanilla and whatnot. But um, he's just good to get you the GB2. Again, guys, don't have a problem with sitting on good old Anger Boil's GB2 ability. He is there to get you to GB2. So in the event you can't stride, striding is too expensive. Um, or you want to go for a tempo swing by not striding and using his GB2 ability. Um, you know, it, it, he, he gets you there. He, he, he gets you to the point where now you have opened up a lot more options for how you want to um, attack your opponent. Just a very good card overall, guys. Definitely recommend him. I am trying. I'm thinking about playing four copies of him and four copies of Tetra Boil, uh, because you know, again, his GB2 ability is just really, really good. Um, but you know, we'll see with more play testing. And then we have four copies of my boy uh, Blue Wave Martial Dragon, Tetra Boil Dragon. This guy is a very good game ender, guys. Very good stride card. So his ability is Counter Blast 1. Choose a card. Uh, pretty much Persona G Flip. Uh, when he attacks an opponent's Vanguard, uh, he gets he'll you pay that cost. He gets minus one drive check, and at the end of the battle, that your rear guard attacked an opponent's Vanguard on the fourth battle. He's wave four only. Remember, guys, your opponent, your your rear guard must attack your opponent's Vanguard on the fourth battle only. Jared, say it with me. Your rear guard must attack an opponent's Vanguard on the fourth battle only. Why? Because if you don't, you miss the timing for his ability, then he will not be able to restand. So you counterblasted one and G flipped for nothing if you miss that timing. Uh, but then you get to stand this unit after, you know, when you do that, you get to stand him and get another twin drive in. Very good, guys. Um, a lot of the cards in this deck definitely play off of his ability. Um... You know, the br Brutal Trooper, the Starter, uh, when you restand for that fifth attack, um, you know, if you use Brutal Trooper or uh, Dagger Master Draco Kid, that's an extra plus one uh, that you're going to receive to your hand. And, you know, when you're guarding an opponent, you know, when a restanding Vanguard's re-standing Vanguard's. You guys have faced restanding Vanguard's before. Two attacks from the Vanguard's, meaning that, if, you know, twin drives, that means that you have a total of four chances to uh, hit some triggers. And, you know, your opponent has to defend against four chances of hitting some triggers plus two attacks at 29k or greater so a very very good card guys i'm very happy with him uh, a lot some people i do know run lambros in the deck and i have tried lambros out and lambros is still an amazing card regardless um so expect me you know when i update i might have a change in my stride deck guys uh but for right now this is how i have it hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile um i will be bringing you guys my ripple deck next and uh yeah Carfight King, I'm out. Blue Waves, we out. Thunder Life, get out. Peace. Oh, no.